Happy Saturday, everybody. I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. Um, we just got back from a family walk. It's actually like noon right now, um, but we went for a family walk in the park and then um, went grocery shopping at Trader Joe's to show you what we got. So I got two sets of flowers. One's just like a mixed, like with some hydrangeas, some carnations, some roses, um, and then a little bundle of white tulips. And then we bought some groceries because we needed lunch and dinner for the upcoming week. Um, I'll have to pick up a few other things, but these are Steven's favorite tortilla chips, the soy and flaxseed tortillas. I got some lemons to make a salad dressing later. Got some olive oil because we're almost out. This is the best salsa. It's my favorite from Trader Joe's. Um, what else did we get? For dinner tonight, we got I needed some tahini because we're going to venture to make this falafel mix. And with that, we got some pitas as well. Got some avocado oil. Steven picked up this lemon cake mix. He says we've had it before, I don't remember. And I can't get it to focus. And then Steven also picked up some pasta. And then I have been dying to try this. I've seen so many of my friends recommend it. So many people have shouted it out online, the everything but bagel seasoning. So I picked that up as well. What else do we have? We got some salad to go with our pitas tonight. This is another really great salad. This is the um, kale, Brussels sprout, broccoli, cabbage mix. I'm gonna use that for lunch along with these grilled chicken strips. And then Steven is like a lover of Trader Joe's frozen food. So he got himself the fusilli vegetable and basil, um, the shells and brie and asparagus, and along with a uh, uh, four cheese and spinach pasta. He lo loves them. He also got asparagus risotto. I didn't know he picked that up. And Brussels sprouts, some carrots, and then... For my salad dressing, I got some of their classic hummus. And for a snack today, I wanna to try this organic buffalo style hummus. And then for lunch this week, I'm just going to easily do the 99% fat free bean and rice burritos. These are my favorite. So there are four in these, I'll put these in the freeze at work. They'll last me Monday through Thursday. And I will also use this salsa and just take a little salad for the side. So that's what we picked up. Going to get these flowers in a vase. Get the groceries put away. Bubba's is good. Bubba's, you had a good walk today. He was off leash the whole time in the park. He was so well behaved. He already got one. Oh, he did? Yep, I already gave it to him. Well, he's lying to me because he told me he didn't get one. Once again, there's Steven in his natural habitat. Wow. I love when you're like behind the plant because it looks <laughs> like you're like in a forest. Well, that is my natural habitat. Like it looks like you're in a jungle. All right, so we're gonna get these groceries put away and then we're gonna eat some lunch. In the last vlog, I told you all that I was going to start collecting pins for my LL Bean bag, which by the way, is a large size with extra long handles. That's the one I bought. Um, and I got this in my P.O. box today. And I got this from a subscriber named Kia. It says, thank you for being such an inspiration to others and always being kind. Saw this and thought of you. And it's a pin. And it says kindness matters. I'm going to put that on my LL Bean tote. I'm really, really excited about it. Thank you, Kia. 
um, and that will be with me every single day. This is my lunch for today. I have some of that buffalo hummus. I have three tablespoons of it which is 100 calories, a bunch of celery, some apples, and then that kale Brussels sprout mix, and some of the chicken torn up, and just some hot sauce put on it, because it's all I need for dressing, and it's so much lower in calories, although the sodium isn't great. But that's lunch for today. I just finished an afternoon workout. I did one of my favorite at-home workouts. I think it's Cindy Crawford, The New Challenge. If I can, I'll put a picture of it here. I think I bought mine on eBay or Amazon. It's something my sister had, I think when she was in college and used to do, and then I started to do it, and I love it. It's still one of the best home workouts ever. I love it so much. My bangs are distracting me, they're quite long. I should probably get them trimmed tomorrow. Um, but it's one of my favorite at-home workouts. So I just did that. And I should show you two books that I'm reading. I'm reading one but not reading the other. The other one just came. So I'm almost done. This came on Tuesday. It's called The Lady, Ladies Who Punch, The Explosive Inside Story of The View. It is so good. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I also enjoy The View, so I have liked this book a lot. And then the book I'm going to start reading next is um, called The Choice, Embrace the Possible. I'll just quickly read the back of it. At the age of 16, Edith Egger, a trained ballet dancer and gymnast, was sent to Auschwitz. Hours after her parents were killed, Nazi officer Dr. Joseph Mengel forced Edie to dance for his amusement and her survival. Edie was pulled from a pile of corpses when the American troops liberated the camp in 1945. Um, and this is her memoir. I'm really excited to read it. Um, yeah, so that's my next book after... I'm done with ladies who punch. Steven is napping. I have the Charleston tennis tournament on. I'm gonna watch some of that, and that's what's happening. Oh, and I did end up buying a brand new, um, like summer, spring cell phone case, because I had the Women's History Month one on, and I wanted to change it out. So I did buy this one from Case Defy, um, and it's like, a really cool print. I'll leave it linked down below in case you're interested in it. Um, it's by an artist named Megan Gallant, A, I think. Um, anyway, I'll leave that for you if you want it. All right, we are going to get these falafels started. So I'm going to do two cups of the mix. And then for every cup, you add three quarters of water. Okay, then it says to cover loosely and let sit for 30 to 60 minutes. So we are supposed to just let this sit for 30 to 60 minutes. Um, and then we'll see how it goes. Alexa. Set timer for 60 minutes. One hour, starting now. All right, so it's been sitting for about 50 minutes. It's definitely firmed up a bit, and you're just supposed to take a scoop now and scoop it out, roll it into balls, and put it on a baking sheet. So I've already sprayed this baking sheet, and I'm going to go ahead and get this put together. That batch made 12 good sized falafels. I'm gonna throw these in the oven now at 350 for 30 minutes. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, so now I'm making a quick salad dressing to go either in pitas or on a salad. Steven's gonna have pitas with his falafel. I'm just gonna have a salad. So I'm just gonna open up this hummus. This is Trader Joe's classic hummus. I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. All right, and I'm just gonna do, since I don't think we need a lot, I'm just gonna do two spoonfuls of that. I'm going to just juice half of 
a lemon. I'm also going to add just the tiniest splash of maple syrup just to help balance it out. Then I'm just going to add just a drop of water to thin it out just a bit. And now I'm just going to add some seasonings to it. So I'm going to do a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, the tiniest bit of garlic powder, And just for a little bit of kick, just a little bit of cayenne. All right, and that is our dressing. Okay, they look perfect actually. The falafels are done. They look really good. For mine, I'm going to use three of them and just cut them in half, throw them on a salad, drizzle the dressing for Steven. I'm gonna stuff his two pita shells and then um, put the salad in it and then drizzle some of the dressing in there. And here is mine, just a bowl of spring mix. I cut up three falafels and then added the dressing. And Steven has his pitas there. Baba says, so what is that? What's up there? What is that? What is up there? What's up here? And we're gonna enjoy dinner. So it is about seven o'clock at night. Um, Steven is uh, doing a couple things down in the office. I thought I'd come up and just take a nice relaxing bath um, before we settle in for the evening. My friends, this is my Saturday. Low-key, simple, but absolutely glorious. So I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning. It is around 7.30. I am so sore from my workout yesterday. Like, ridiculously sore. Watching a little Louise Pentland right now. I love her Sunday weekly vlog. So, just catching up with her. Steven is upstairs getting ready for the day. He's probably gonna take Bubba's for a walk. I'm gonna head to the gym even though I'm so sore. Like, ow. <laughs> um, all right, go and just make some coffee and get the Sunday started. I am just prepping lunch for at least two days right now. And I'm using these 99% fat-free bean and rice burritos um, from Trader Joe's. I really, really love them. And they are about 250 calories per burrito. Um, so, just going to pop these in the toaster oven. You do 10 minutes, um, and then you take them out, wrap them up in foil, and put them back in. So once the oven is preheated, we will throw those in. Like I said, we'll do 10 minutes, wrap them in foil, put them back in for like 15 to 20. And then I'm gonna put them actually like in a bed of shaved kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, all of that, and then salsa on top, and that will be lunch for two days. All right, just going to say again that this is the large L.L. Bean Tote with extra long handles because so many of you asked which one I ended up buying. And then that pin that was sent to me yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and add that on here. I love this little collection of pins on here. I love all of them. Okay, just making sure all those are pushed on well. Perfect. So cute. All righty, so they have been in for about 10 minutes. And now, all you do, I guess I'll do this. You take them and you wrap them in tin foil so they don't get too. Crisp. 
coffee. Just gonna wrap them up and just throw them back in here now for like 20, I'm just gonna let them go for 24, 25 minutes. And then they'll be heated the whole way through. And then I will go ahead and put them on top of this kale, cabbage, Brussels sprout, broccoli shaved business. And then I have some salsa that I'll take. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of these sliced jalapeno peppers on there. And then lunch will be done for Monday and Tuesday. All right, so here is a lunch for tomorrow. The burritos are heated, well, lunch for Monday and Tuesday. Um, it's super simple. It'll be delicious and really filling. What happened, Bobby? Undercarriage flush. <laughs> Did you guys get in a little mud today? Yeah. Did you make a mess? Just to pause. Uh-oh. Right. All right. Should we carry out our stuff today? Um, yeah, but we don't have any cushions. I still have to order them, but I have to... Today would be a good day for, to carry it out. Because it's not too hot. You're a mess. Don't go in there. You can't go inside yet. Stay up here. I'll get a towel. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Stay. You too wet. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jump up on me. Hey. It was a wet mess. You can't go until you're dried off. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and so it begins. He's gonna bite the towel. He's gonna yelp. I don't understand. There what? was a dog at the park in the pond, in the freezing cold pond, and having a great time. This dog. <laughs> who is a water dog, two, two breeds of water dog, hates the water. Are poodles water dogs? Yes. Oh. And hates getting clean. She hates all forms of hygiene. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> this is going so well. All right. All right, bye. Now you want to treat. Want to treat? Want to treat? For lunch today, I'm just going to make some turkey lettuce wraps. So I have some butter lettuce here. I'm just going to lay some turkey on each one. And then a pickle and roll them up. And that's going to be lunch today. Then I'm just going to lay the pickle on them and roll them up. Here are my lettuce wraps. That's lunch. And there is Steven up on the hill. What are you doing in the woods? I'm in my natural habitat. I know, you just love to be in the forest. Sticks. There's wildflowers. Steven is obsessed with planting wildflowers on this back hill. It looks so gross right now, but it actually gets so pretty in the summer. Um, uh, like all this like big tall grass grows and then Steven plants wildflowers. It's absolutely beautiful. Right now it's done with the winter and it's been raked and everything. So it's not that pretty currently, but it will be. And then over there is where our fire pit is. All those trees will fill in. It'll be so pretty back here. I promise. Just right now it looks terrible. Scatter away, my friend. Scatter away. Let's leave daddy to plant. I don't want you running around with the ticks. Even though you have your tick collar on and all of that jazz, I don't want you getting a tickers. Let's go. Let's get a treat. You're an inside dog anyway. Say, you're an inside dog anyway. Let's go get a treat. Let's get a treat. Oh yes, oh yes. Go live your best life. We are approaching the end of the vlog only because I wanna spend most of the afternoon and the evening um, catching up with some work for the week 
and just spending time and preparing. But I had promised to get back to some of the questions that were asked over on Instagram. So I wanted to go ahead and um, wrap up with some of those because I love answering them. And if you take the time to ask, I want to take the time to answer. Um, a lot of questions about what I've been reading. I think I've pretty well covered that in the last couple of vlogs and even in this one. Um, what else are there? I would love to hear how you all got Bubba's. Bubba's is a rescue. Um, it's rare to find a Labradoodle rescue, but we just happened to find one um, when we were in Charlotte, North Carolina living. And we have had him for now 10, 11 years. And he is the best. There's like a weird noise and I have no clue what it is. Hopefully nothing is breaking. Can you recommend products that you already know? Kitchen appliances, tech, clothing brands, frequently used websites, blogs, or Instagram accounts? Liz, I'm so glad you asked this. I'm actually going to, in April, move back to doing monthly favorites. Um, but as you all know, I've really not been shopping. I've kind of like turned this corner of being really content with all the things that I have and I feel no need to fill voids with things. Um, but yes, I'm going to go back to monthly favorites and a lot of the things will be things that I've always had and loved um, and I've kind of rediscovered an appreciation for so that is coming. During your weight loss journey did you ever reach a plateau? How do you get discouraged? Um, how did you overcome getting discouraged? For those who don't know you can check out my last vlog. I actually showed a before picture of where I used to be. Um, have I hit a plateau? Yes. Uh, everyone who's ever lost weight has hit a plateau. Um, and have I been discouraged? Absolutely. And have had many many setbacks uh just try to always remember even um through the ups and the downs of all of that um that you are worth it and knowing that you slip up it's it's just part of life and just keep going and that one slip up day what what happens is we let one day that we mess up like our diet or our fitness routine like the first day we mess it up we let it sabotage several other days just own that like one day didn't undo all the hard work that you've done over several days or months or years. Um, that's my best advice. But the instant you start like restricting things and acting all crazy, you will never stick with it. You will never ever stick with it. How are my parents? My parents are absolutely wonderful. My mom is really getting on the other side of her major back injury that she had. Um, impacted her for a while um she just told me the other day that she went up to the local track and walked a little over a mile and she's getting back on the wagon again so i'm really happy for her um hopefully my dad will be retiring soon and my parents will see a lot more of them i love your home and how comforting it seems what would you say your decorating style is i'd say my style is whatever i like um I just, I fill it with the things that I love. There are some things that are very like bohemian inspired. There are things that are mid-century inspired. There are things that are very traditional. Um, yeah, it's just a mix of things that we love. And I love things not being so matchy-matchy. Uh, that way it feels like you've collected it over time and that things feel more, uh, almost like they have a story behind them. We've gathered a lot of things while traveling. But yeah, I don't think we have a pinpointed style. I would say if we had to select one style to live in, um, Stephen and I would very much buy like a mid-century home and fill it with mid-century furniture. That's kind of like our favorite style as a couple. Um, but I would say our home is very, very, not eclectic, but very, um, has like a very collected style with like various influences. How are you meal planning? I think you guys are getting a great, great idea of how I meal plan. And it really isn't that complicated and I don't overthink the process. The lettuce wraps I made for lunch today, those are great to take for lunch. And all I do if I'm taking it for lunch is I just pack everything in a separate container um, and then uh, just make them right there because they take seconds to like roll them up. I love, I love simplicity. I love things that you don't have to overthink. <laughs> I've really enjoyed watching Louise Pentland following your recommendation. I was wondering if you two ever had the opportunity to touch base. No, my dream is just to be able to say hello to Louise Pentland. I adore her. I adore her so much. In my head, we're best friends because I think we'd really get along. I think we'd be a hoot together, um, but I adore her. I adore her so much. 
And I think the reason why I really felt connected to her is because I feel like her vlogs are simple and sometimes just super homey of just her at home. It doesn't feel like she's always pushing a brand or an advertisement or something on you. Um, it's just her living her life and I think that's really cool. And I think it says a lot that she can maintain a large set of subscribers um, through her authenticity and sheer joy for making content and connecting with people. I think it says a lot about her. I really, really enjoy her. Joy asked, I'm thinking of getting a small tattoo on my wrist. Any advice or tips? Joy, I think we talked about this in direct message about what you should do about your tattoo and I would love to know if you end up getting one. Love how you and Steven understand, care, love, and accept each other. Any relationship advice on how two people can come together to be truly happy? Don't try to change them. Um, you have to love them and accept them for who they are when you met them and where they are at every point of their life and uh, hope that you have the same. Steven has never once tried to change me. I've never once tried to change him. Um, and I think that's the joy of our relationship. We really, really, truly support each other. If you're in a relationship and you're hoping that something changes about the person, you're not in the right relationship. Um, yeah, I think that's the best advice. We're best friends first and we love who the other person already is and who they were when they came to us. Um, and there was never anything I would change. Nothing. Now, are there things that get on our nerves? Yeah. But that's part of the charm. <laughs> How to design your home for the spring season without spending much money. Get some really nice light floral candles, fill it up with plants. Um, I just kind of, my house feels so springy right now just because I added those flowers that I picked up from Trader Joe's. Um, yeah, fill it up with plants, light floral scents, and if you really want a pop of like springtime color, do it through throw pillows or a throw blanket. Um, easy as that, keep it really clean and simple. I am going to wrap up the vlog there, and I hope that you guys got some ideas around meal prepping. I think, um, this was a low-key weekend. They've been very low-key, but uh, some exciting things are coming up, and I'm looking forward to it. And with that, I'm going to sign off like I do every single time. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.